Hello everyone, I'm Tristrick44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 4. Last episode, we've gone through pretty much all the north section of the, uh... Ah, jeez. Pretty much all of the north section of the, um, honeycomb. I'm just clearing out the last of these little creatures that were really annoying. Shouldn't take too long, I hope. Nope. Oh. There we go. And you know what? Let's kill them while we can. They can't see us. Yeah, we should have taken the first attack. There we go. Alright. There's still a little bit on the upper level that we can explore, and that's over in here. Let's see what's going on over in this area. Another wolf. And another stairway. Alright, well, that seems to be everything there, so... Let us head down to the lower level, and we'll start with... Well... We may as well start over here. More wolves. Well, at least we we're able to kill them. With a body at the end. And steel breastplate. Okay, that's actually worth some coin to us. I believe there were three stairways down here. What the? Oh, are those slime grub? It's not the same as a blind skunk worm, so ho eh, they should be easier, I think. Hopefully. Please. Yeah, they're definitely easier. As a monster dies, something horrible begins to burrow out of its corpse. Ah, it's that kind of thing. These are the kinds of worms that have creatures hidden inside them. Lovely. Which is a nice touch, I'll admit. And I see another one. Wow, really? Oh, come on! Fine, we'll charge into you. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, and I see another icy geode that we need. Okay. Ow, ow. Uh, I think a group healing will work here. Okay, she was actually so slow, she couldn't actually do anything. And she's about to die. Very bad. Very bad indeed. Well, the slime's dead, at least. Will you stop that? Actually, no. You should have... Heal. Oh, bloody hell. Stop that. There we go. Now for this slime... There we go. And another icy geode. That brings us to three. Nice. Alright, let's take a look up in here. We got... Nephil. No, Nephar. Well, it's dead now. And there's an archer. And a uh, shaman, I think? Spiritualist. Close enough. Very strong, in fact. That gets rid of that guy. Those two. Almost got him. There we go. Perfect. Another Nephar.
Who's now dead? See nothing there. Dead Eye Cloak. I think we can sell that. Hmm. Not much else in their camp. But hey, we got something. There's those stairs up. Okay. Should be... Oh no, not another one of these freaking turrets. Really hate these things. At least there's only one. There. Turret dead. Christ, I hope there's no more up ahead. Of course, now that I said that, that means there probably is. Oh, interesting. Okay, that heads north. Wonder what's in here. Well, we have several of these crystals. Let's find out. Spell is too weak to affect this barrier. Okay, let me reload so I don't waste that. I guess we'll have to come back and take a look at it sometime. Oop, wrong path. And around here... Nothing. There's still another stairway over here, and the only way to get to whatever is over there is probably that third stairway. Right over here. So let's go take a look. See what we can see. Nothing so far. Hello, there we go. I knew there was going to be something sooner or later. And it's a couple archers. Nothing too special or terrifying. Or and bandits over there. With two turrets. That is not going to be fun in any case. Let's uh, let's go there after, shall we? Let's finish looking through what we can find around here. All right, another one of those. Actually, now that I think about it, that passage probably leads to the bandits. Would make sense. I mean, with that much protection? Yeah, that's probably the path that leads to the bandits. Surrounds you with static. I have no idea what that did. Well, surrounds you with static. Again, no idea what that did. Another one of those. Oh, I see another icy geode. Let this be enough. Excellent. Okay, that, 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 and icy geode number four. I think we actually... I think there's a quest that actually requires one of each of those kinds of geodes. An icy geode, the swamp nodule, and I think there's a third one. Hmm, nothing else over there. And over here is a dead end. So the only other passage to continue downwards is the one that I believe is what leads to the bandits. Two turrets. Ugh. Well, I suppose we can. Well, we may as well provide some form of protection. Charge up. It's the best thing we can do right here. Can you reach them both? You can. Perfect. Perfect. 
you can't do anything, you can. Probably shouldn't be casting Smite as much as I am. Now that one's dead at least. There we go. Those two turrets are dead. Yeah, Wolf, this is this has to be where the bandits are. Another warped wolf. Yeah, we can recover a bit of energy from this. There we go. All right. Uh. All right. Let's continue inwards. See what we can find over here. I mean, we did explore all that. This. You are surprised to find another group of adventurers in this cavern. It looks like they recently killed and looted a small band of bandits. The bodies are by the west wall. These four travelers look weary, battle-hardened, and very unhappy to see you. The warrior immediately walks to the front and says, You can t just turn right back now. We're on a mission for someone in Murtis. We claim these tunnels. If you try to go through our camp, we're going to stop you. Will you now? Well, I think we can... Ah, great. Well, let's see what we can do here. And there's the fighting. I want to kill that priest before he heals everyone. There we go. healing, and a casting of that. That's two of them dead. Ah, Jesus, that guy hits hard. You know what, we're this far in, I'm going to reload. Yeah, I kind of figured why not. And this way we can actually get the uh, blessing spell and protection spell without hitting them. All right, haste for everyone. There we go. Kill everyone. Ah, good, not terror, terrified, whatever. And he's dead. And a couple castings of this. Ow, please not again. Thank you for not again. That one's dead. Oh, another icy geode. Fantastic. Okay, one left. Probably should have taken note of their names. All too late now. Filled with total terror. Well, that's not good. Fortunately, I think we kind of got this. And there we go. Alright, what have we got? We got another icy geode. Chainmail vest. Blessed shield, which I think... Yeah, I think it's worth selling. Steel broad steel broadsword. Hold on. Take those two. Dagger, iron shield, s well, spiritual herbs, steel broadsword, nine to twenty-seven. Yeah, we can sell that. Anything else here? Nothing of use, I think. Okay. Nothing there. Leather armor. This is 
this might be the way to the bandits. Maybe it's not. Hmm. Well, this leads up to these... Ah, those stairs aren't connected to anything. Interesting. Now, this might be the main passage we're supposed to take, but these stairs, these must lead to the bandits. All right. All right, let's go in here, see what we can do about them. Hoshar's Freehold. What he says is allowed. You are very surprised to find a small fort here, deep within the twists and turns of the honeycomb. The brigands in the fort are equally surprised to see you. The walls of the fort are formed of clay brick, dotted with numerous slitted windows for the use of archers. You can see a number of Nefarim peering out at you, ready to defend their little keep. The bandits here are unusually organized to have managed to construct this place. They must have a very strong-willed leader. And we have bandits out there, too. Already watching. Oop. Actually, you know what? Let's see if you guys can do anything. Ah, oh, you can do a bit. Not very much, but it'll help. Yeah, we can kill these. Yeah, we can at least kill the guards out here. There we go. They defied Hoshar. Ah. Hoshar must be their guy in charge. Stop that! It's an awkward angle, but it works. It's an interesting fort. Oh well, we got this guy. There we go. I see more bandits over in there. There you go. I see ya. What's this say? Bandit keep. Okay, that's actually the entrance to the bandit keep. Well, we're here. We may as well kill it. Kill all the bandits inside. If possible. There's another one. And lizards! Alright, you guys switch over to this. Deal with the lizards. Not very hard, actually, to deal with the lizards. I would not be surprised if there's a couple more lizards in that next one there, but it's no big deal. At least we're killing all these archers relatively easily, too. Yep. Oh no, those aren't uh, lizards, those are wolves. Who are actually a bit stronger. Okay. And... There we go. Alright, now for this guy. And a fireball to toss. There might be a few on either side here that'll make it tricky to get in. And we're actually gaining energy again now. <laughs> because we haven't really used any of it. Alright. 
All right, let's see if we can clear this out. I was right. Oh, there's a lot of these guys in here. Yeah, you can stand there and fire that. Ow. Do you mind? Please, that hurts. Right, kill these slith. Well, one of them is dead, at least. Oh, goody. Well, casting of that will do something about that. And casting of this. Not enough action points. Fantastic. Ow. Do you mind? That stung a bit. Can't get there. You're right there. See? Nova could get there. Why couldn't you? And enough with the parrying and the healing potions. There we go. Oh, looks like someone leveled up. Nice. Oh, didn't even mean to click on that, but I guess I did. Alright, and this must be the way down into the main part of the fort. Yep. Alright, let's go down in here. See what we can do. You descend the stairs and enter the lower level of the bandit keep. It is extremely quiet. The silence means one of two things. Either the handful of defenders you dispatched upstairs were the sum of the fort's occupants, or they know you are here, and they are waiting for you. I'm guessing it's the latter, especially because I now see them. Yes, let them come to us. That is the way it works. Well, I could get two of them. Oh yeah, they're all coming for us. Well, at least one of them is terrified and running in fear. I killed some of them. Ow! Another one's terrified and running in terror. You need to heal her. And you can cast that. Another one terrified and running in fear. Well, at least we got him. Oh dear. Cursed. No matter. Ah, so many melee guys keeping us from getting to their mages. Slowed now. Fantastic. You can cast this. That did a bit. Ow. Ow. Okay, Nova really needs some. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna reload there. Because God only knows how many more of those guys are here. You know what? We have the energy. There we go. That'll provide a bit of protection, and a casting of that should help. And this as well. Now let them come to us. Okay, you can actually stab that one. You will cast him. This. And you will cast him of this. Why didn't you hit the other one? You should have. Okay, we're doing well now. See if you can take care of that spiritualist. I uh, only got two of them. Ow! Thank you for charging right into us. I'll take that. <laughs> that mage will not be pleasant. Yeah, that works. Covered by an invisible shield that is now gone thanks to dying. Filled with pure terror. Okay, if you don't mind, thank you. Okay, this time the battle's going a bit better. Ow, ow, ow! 
That hurt. Do you mind? Thank you. I would appreciate it if you die now, O oh Slith Mage. Thank you. Thank you for dying. Coins, belt, and sandals. I don't think any of them really dropped anything. Well, the Slith Spear is something we can sell. Nothing else looks like it's worth it. Well, I see another wolf. Don't use any spells. I need you to recover what little energy you can. There we go. Alright, this probably is not for... Yeah, this just leads to a dead end. Passages they sealed off. Pairs. Just a couple things there. More bandits over here. This must be close. Yeah, I think this is the end. That must be Hoshar over there. Nice. Ah, uh, sure. And a casting of this. Almost got him. All that leaves is Hoshar over there. Hoshar is alone. One of the bandits stands far taller than the others. It is an enormous Nefar wielding a huge halberd. He is an imposing creature and he is very, very angry. Though he lives in this filthy pit surrounded by ruffians, the feline creature seems very vain. The hair on his head and arms is delicately styled, and his leather garments have been carefully polished. What pests invade the fortress of Hoshar? Slay my servants, dirty my floors, identify yourself before I slay you. I wouldn't suppose you'd consider surrendering to me and returning to Avernum to face justice? Hoshar pauses for a moment, stunned. <laughs> I appreciate the chance to submit like a puny creature, to return to Avernum to be hung. I appreciate the offer. I prefer to destroy you. I am an adventurer. I like to hunt bandits. <laughs> no, you have found the mightiest in all Avernum, scourge of the abyss, bringer of terror, slayer of all that oppose me. <laughs> He waves his massive halberd around a few times to make his point. No more banter. I'm going to end your foul reign of banditry. Hoshar raises his halberd above his head and howls. I have spit mightier things than you out in my hairballs. Well, he's got one friend. He does hurt a bit. But I think we can kill him. Right, if you don't mind, a healing. And you... It actually, uh, yeah. Hmm, survived the hit. Whoa! Nova and Liren filled with total terror. Did not expect that. At least I killed his other friend. Uh oh. Ah, crap. Well, we lost one, but I'll do what I can. This is not what I expected. Oh boy. The good news is he's surrounded. The bad news is we l we're down a man, and we may be about to die. Oh, oh, oh. Like so many of the foes that came before him, the bandit lord Hoshar falls to your assault. He is defiant to the last, spit hissing, spitting, and shouting obscenities at you. Yet his strength is not sufficient to allow him to continue his rude display for long. He falls to the stone floor and expires. Well, okay then. Steel halberd, 10 to 40. Hmm. That's actually a bit... does a bit better than the blessed spear. The Blessed Spear is 12 to 36, so it's narrower, but still. 
Blessed Vambraces, too. 8% protection. Also good. Let's see. Coins. Another icy geode. Actually, that's the last one we need. Uh, what else is here? We got... This small box is almost empty. It contains a few sheets of paper and a handful of feather quills. Only one of the pages has writing on it. It is a letter. To Hoshar. I hope you have not slain my messenger to obtain this letter. Torek is a valued servant, and I would be irritated by his loss. The forces in my organization wish to use the honeycomb for travel to avoid the annoying interference of the Avernites. Since you control this territory, we are willing to give the appropriate respect in return for safe passage. Should this be agreeable, we can also discuss the bounty for Avernites soldiers and loyal adventurers. Signed, Doricus. An upside-down crown has been drowned next, drawn next to the signature. Hmm more about this upside down crown and we have a name for it now hmm. uh, the pages of the spellbook are pretty torn up and covered with stains you suspect that Hosher had brought it here so he could teach himself magic failed and lost his temper the pages of the spellbook are pretty torn up and covered with stains you brass the we need to get uh, Pira back Fortunately, it should be e very easy to do. We just need to run outside, and I don't think we're going to encounter anything on the way. Oh yes, and of course, the sorry about the awkward cut, that was due to the phone. Okay. Run around. Get the resurrection. All right. I'll cut it while I run back. Alright, now what kind of spell book is this? Uh, your skill with the spell Terror increases. That explains what he was casting. Okay! We are also kind of loaded up on stuff, so I'm going to go back and sell that stuff. And this episode is running a bit long. I hate when that happens. Oh well. Not too much we can do about it. Come on. Also, Hoshar, I believe, was part of a quest we had to do. Okay. Can't. Come on. So, mm, you know, we'll turn in all quests later on. I think now I'm going to sell this stuff and. Next episode, we'll keep looking through the, uh... Really? Hmm. Interesting. Does a Blessed Spear have an extra bonus to it? Or something? Why else would it be, uh... More expensive? Hmm. Uh, I'll stick with the steel halberd. Yeah. All right. Next episode, we will continue looking through the uh, through the lower levels of the honeycomb. That'll be in the next episode. Till then, I am Chesuk44. That is Nova, Liren, John, and Pira. This has been an Avernum Four Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.